Hey everybody, it's DJ with Socomo Woodwork and our friend Kakarl back there. And we're here to present our entry into the 2017 Ornament Challenge. Hope you enjoy it. I don't want to give too much away here in the beginning. I think it's pretty cool though. Thanks. Alright, so what we got here is we have a log that uh, I'm going to make into a cube. What I'm doing here is I'm setting the tool rest. And I'm setting the tool rest. <laughs> Alright. So, at first I thought it would be good to come at it, I guess what would be straight on, with my uh, scraper. But as we kind of find, once I get to the center, it's wanting to kind of ride up on me a little bit. So... I reset right there I'm resetting trying to get to the center so it looks better uh, really nervous about turning this thing really because the only thing that's holding it in the chuck is two out of four jaws so here I switch to my bigger scraper and I'm just I'm really battling with that center and uh, starting to think maybe this isn't the right approach but like i was saying the only thing that's holding it in there is the uh two out of four jaws uh at this time as you can because uh the back part the part that's actually held in the chuck is still round so i'm flattening this part out and at some point i decide hey let's just get the skew chisel and run it down you can see my reference lines there and what would be the final like uh dimensions for the cube so i got the skew chisel out and trying to get as flat or as square say true all those terms of uh the walls and there it pops out on me which is what i was afraid of but it didn't pop out because of not being held in the chuck it got popped out uh because i thought my as i turned my tool hit it and and it scared me but so and here we're just resetting again i'm kind of forgetting which direction i'm going with this and I don't like having the tool rest too far away. So, and with uh, it not being round, I got sections of it that are farther from the tool rest than where I'm start my starting points. So, uh, you see me with the pencil, you'll see me do that a couple times. What I do is uh, just darken the line because as I'm as I'm turning this and getting it down, I can actually see the line in the, um, I guess it's like the shadows, the uh, outline of it, of it as it's spinning. So you know, I'm just making sure it's going to clear the tool rest again. And I darken the line a lot. And then as it's spinning, where I'm standing, I was able to see that line. So I went with a skew chisel to kind of flatten out the the log into making a cube because one the edge the top edge of the chisel is uh, flat so I'm able to gauge how flat the walls are getting on this and you'll see me pass the, the uh, chisel along beyond center I think I do that here No, and anyway, I passed the, the chisel along beyond center, and I was able to rest the, the the back of the, or the top of the chisel on the piece, and I could see where it was high and low. Like, I could tell right there that the, uh, it was kind of getting domed. See how I went past the center there? Just like that. And when, what I'm doing is it, I'm just letting it ride along the top, and I can tell how flat it's getting. Uh... Excuse me as I'm sniffling and everything. Like I say in the, later in the video, I'm dealing with sinuses because it's, yay, fall and winter time and it's 
hot and then it's cold and it's hot and it's cold and nothing's ever balancing out. So, but anyway, I apologize for my sniffling. And uh, once again, doing the same thing, just uh, kind of truing up the edges here, then trying to use it kind of like a parting tool there because once I got down, you'll see it really kind of fan out. It uh, it was working, but this was green wood, and it was wanting to kind of separate. See how it's kind of fanning? You can see it right there. It kept wanting to do that on me, and instead of giving me a clean cut. So it was, uh, that was kind of a pain. But all in all, it turned better than I thought it would, and... I was really impressed. I watched a video, I think, on Facebook of a guy running a machine lathe, and he did this with a round, a piece of round stock, like a big chunk of round aluminum. And uh, there I'm checking the flatness. I'm getting closer. So the uh, overall size of the block ended up being, I got it right here. Uh, the finished size ended up being two and three eighths square. So the starting point, I think, for the log was. Let me go. Let me see. I got it right here too. Right at four inches. So. I had a uh, two and five eighths, I guess, waist to get it square. Uh, probably should have went with a bigger log. Might have been a little easier, but I never. It was easy with the guy doing it on a machine lathe because pretty much you can really bear down on those. See, I'm checking the, the flatness again. And uh, wood lays the. Wood is sometimes known to just uh, fly out of there. And I've had that done to me a few times. Well, I had it done in this video once. You know, it just you don't expect it. And I definitely didn't want it to be a huge piece of wood flying through the air. So, there I'm checking. See, that's pretty flat. You can... So... Then what's going on? I think I'm, oh, I'm going to present it here. There we go. That is a square block from a round log. I'm just talking about it here. I just I took that out because it's easier to do the voiceover at this point. So let's move on. Oh, there's that handsome guy. To recap, started with something like this. End it with this. And just for those that are wondering, you see all that? This side's a little rough. So, but other than that, it is pretty square for what I'm doing. So now, what I'm thinking, this is an inch and three quarter Forstner bit. And I'm going to do a captured block inside a block. But I got to make sure what I'm trying to work out now is the math. Because I want to make sure that once I get, if I come in, um, I think it's this. This is, yeah. It's almost five, right at five eighths. Five eighths reach here and five eighths here i need to mark out figure out how big the block is going to be in the center because if the block in the center comes in at say an inch and a half well the hole i'm making is an inch and three quarters and it could possibly just fall out and then that takes away from the illusion of oh how'd you get the block in there so that's what i'm working on right now but yeah, right there. From a round log to a cube. All right. 
Well, here goes nothing. All right, so as I was explaining, uh, I'm going to run the Forstner bit in all six sides of the cube. Um, here what you see is I'm trying to take it out. I'm hoping I don't have to reset my the carriage and everything so much, but I didn't get lucky. So I have to back it out of the way and then bring it back up and recenter and all that stuff. I was hoping I could just drop the cube out, put it back right back in, and I was I would be pretty close to dead on. But as it is now, um, that wasn't the case. So... Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run it in all six sides. Um, do have a little bit of problem at one point where I had to true up the cube and, uh, it's right here where it's wobbling quite a bit, but it just took a little bit of patience and time to kind of square it up and, uh, all that. So... One that it's just not that big a deal. Right there, what I'm doing is I'm showing that I'm starting to get a little bit of breakthrough. Um, where you can kind of see the light starting to penetrate and the cube is taking shape. Now I'm just deciding what side I want to do next. There you can see the light right before I put my meat claws over it. I'll put a description for the music that was playing in the background, obviously. So you might know that was Old Christmas Tree. That was not as much fun as I was expecting. It got to the point, but anyway, look, here it is. The cube. In the cube. Let me get my hand out of the way. But it was getting to the point that I'm like, ooh. That inside block, it'll hang like this. That inside block is going to uh, be really close to being able to pop out of the hole. I don't know. Can't imagine my math being off, but you see it? There it is. Start as a log. And it's ugly right now. I gotta finish. I gotta sand this thing. But start out as a log and be like that, and people will stare and wonder. But yeah, it's done enough now. Sanding, fixing that crack right there. So.